Hey there YouTube, I'm Yukitsu, this is the Yukitsu Times, welcome to my channel, welcome back to our Rome 2 Total War. I'm just playing this to sort of wean myself off of um, Age of Wonders 3 for a little bit, because uh, 4X games are more addictive than crack cocaine, and uh, if it weren't for them just being a little bit more addictive, I'd still be playing it right now instead of talking to you people, or I'd be face down in the rehab clinic, um, because I'm pretty sure that's what they get you to do in a rehab clinic. I don't really know what they do there, I've never been to one. Don't plan on being to one, even though I probably should for my horrible, horrible caffeine addiction, um, which will probably get me really, really dead. But uh, that's besides the point. We're playing a game here. And uh, yeah, then I'm going to go to sleep because it's like... Actually, it's like 10. But uh, regardless, that's the way things are sometimes. You just got to go to sleep early. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and try out some of the older stuff uh, after that last game uh, where I played something new. We're just going to try out something completely... Uh, old school that we've done a million times before. We're actually going to put our general on an elephant. Holy crap, he ready up already. Well, that's going to color me surprised, but uh, you know what? That's fine. We're just going to quickly go ahead and jam some of this crap in here. Another elephant, and let's grab some of these cavalry. And then we should get some of these mercenaries. And... Uh, what can we upgrade? Can we upgrade one of you guys? Yeah, let's do that. And looks like that's all we can really do here. Alright, perfect, let's go. So, uh, yeah, I'm trying out some of the more old-school traditional things uh, from before all this patch nonsense going out. Big difference is I am putting my general on a elephant, which I probably shouldn't be. Of course, then our opponent decides to dodge, and it's going to be the same guy. Just, just watch this, just watch this. Dan something, I think. Oh no, it's a different guy. Okay, well, I'm wrong. Fantastic. Okay, so in retrospect, if I'm going to do sort of what I was thinking of doing there, I don't actually want to go quite the same army as I did last time, come to think of it. Uh, this is a little bit flatter, and it doesn't have the same sort of uh, big hill to go up. Uh, let's get that. Uh, we're up against Carthage. They're capable of bringing good... Pikes, they're probably going to take good, um, hmm, they've got good swordsmen now too, but I'm thinking that they're probably going to be bringing spears. We'll take two elephants just in case, and then we'll, uh, take some of these, uh, these mercenary Scythian horse archers in addition. Uh, they made horse archers more expensive now, despite the fact that they're sort of the inferior unit, which I really didn't like. Uh, I think they really should have kept them at a different price point, but... Uh, whatever they want to do, they're, they're free to do it, so uh, we got five of the pikes. Uh, we can afford like three of the thorax swordsmen. No, we're just a bit short of money there. Um, let's get rid of this guy. Hi. Okay, so we can get rid of him and then take two more units of these thorax swordsmen, but I don't really like thorax swordsmen. That's the problem here. Uh, well, let's actually just go ahead and take our two thorax pikemen and then guard our flanks with these scaly thorax pikemen, or hopla uh, hoplites. There they are. Okay, good. Uh, that looks good. That looks good enough. And uh, what we'll do is we'll use those to anchor things on the flanks if he happens to take more sort of elite sword units uh, and try and get around my flanks, and then that should hold them in place long enough for me to use my elephants. Uh, of course, Carthage also has their own elephants, but... Uh, you know, they're not as big and scary and awesome as mine are, so I've got that advantage working for me. And, of course, I've also got um, horse archers, which he won't have access to. Although, I don't remember. I think Carthage has the Cantabrian um, cavalry now, which are a ranged unit with um, Parthian shot. I should actually check to see if all javelin cavalry just has Parthian shot now. That would actually make them a lot more viable in general, but I'm pretty sure it's just the Cantabrians uh, that have that, but... If not, I'll have to give out um, the Greek one a try. I can't remember the name of it because I haven't used it in so long, except for as with, with Sparta, and they're the only option for Sparta, so uh, kind of the name kind of eludes me from time to time. All right. Well, I'm kind of glad I got this guy instead of the other one because I don't like the map Pella because it's just like that ridiculous hill that one player basically starts on. This one, there's just the small hill that the other player is going to be starting on, which is less bullshit, but it's still bullshit. All right, so let's get our pikes. Uh, we'll spread them out over here. We're going to get them in a little bit of a longer formation because the Carthaginians don't have too many elites that can punch through that. Even though they have got those new uh, really good sword uh, units, they're not really 
they're like ridiculously heavily armored, they've got courage and all that, but they're not necessarily the biggest killers out there. Which uh, lets me sort of get away with things that I might not otherwise be able to get away with. Uh, where the hell's my other elephants? Okay, so these guys are going to be running safety against uh, cavalry. We're going to keep, uh, we'll keep fire at will on actually, and we'll keep melee mode on. Flaming shot, there we go. And that should be good. Okay, and we want heavy shot on these guys. Perfect. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's uh, see if there's any sort of advantageous position for us to be doing this from. I kind of want to advance mostly through these woods rather than uh, directly ahead. But on the other hand, I kind of want to be able to quickly get towards this hill in case he's going for it. So I'm going to start off here, and if it looks like he's actually going to go for an open field battle, I'll pivot towards him. And uh, I'll bring these guys over here so I can harass him as he tries to go up the hill if that's what he ends up deciding to do. Um, but yeah, this is sort of that old style army that I did before all those patches out there. I'm not sure if it's still viable. Uh, Pikes did get that increase in cost, and I don't really like the fact that they did because they're still not as useful as other units. But uh, they've got... they're sort of the counter unit right now, as far as I remember, uh, to elephants and to a lot of the cavalry that people like bringing. And really heavy cavalry is just very, uh, very, very good, so... Maybe maybe they got nerfed and I just wasn't paying attention. That's also a possibility, but uh, yeah, that should be this should be a sound enough strategy. Assuming that our Carthaginian buddy hasn't gotten just a ton of mobile swordsmen that can just run around my uh, my pike line. Alternatively, uh, you never know. My opponent might have actually brought a pike line of his own. We'll have to figure out if I can actually beat African pikemen with thorax pikemen. If I recall, the African pikemen were a little bit better. Okay, so he has not actually gone for the hill, so we're going to pivot towards there. Uh, he has, however, brought a pike box with artillery, and this is the art medium field artillery. Um, Alright, so what we're going to do is bring these guys out this way. And uh, what we're going to hope for is that our opponent uh, is going to... Yeah, it looks like what's going to happen is our opponent is going to try and move which can be calamitous when you're actually using uh, that sort of stationary artillery. Oh no, he's sort of... Yeah, it looks like he's sort of uh, not moving. Yeah, no, he's decided not to. Okay, he's got African pikemen all over the bloody place. Uh, looks like we're taking big hits on these mercenary Scythians here. The men are wavering. I wonder if they upgraded um, the firepower of those ballistas. Okay, we're back up to pretty much full there. Now, I have got enough shooting of my own that if I do this right, I should be able to kill his um, slingers with my own slingers. I should have enough of them. Um, the problem here, of course, being that I also want to have enough to... I, I want to draw all of his artillery fire onto these uh, horse archers rather than letting him fire at my elephants, for example, with them. So what I'm doing is I'm moving these guys sort of um, forward early and uh, letting them get shot at a little bit and making them more exposed than I would really attack. like them to be. Uh, just so that I can make sure that yeah, they're not getting too many shots off against, for example, my general uh, with their, those range units. Fortunately, Carthaginian cavalry is still utterly trash. Okay. Now then, we can move these guys over here, that's fine. And it uh, looks like we should be able to get an advantage if we move our guys over here. And we're just going to try and disassemble this pike box as best we can with our firing here. Uh, we have discovered the enemy's hidden units. We're going to try and take out these Balearic Slingers. We got an opportunity here. Although the fact that we're shooting at these hoplites is not a good thing. Okay. We're going to move our elephants in a different pattern here. Try and lure his cavalry towards them, if possible. Okay, so we need to take these guys off of fire at will so we can choose our targets. He's moving his Balearic Slinger so that he can intercept the shots from my uh, cavalry now, though. Um... If he's not careful, though, he's going to lose out big time so 
Okay, so we're just gonna keep our general in motion and we're gonna keep his unit spread as thin our as possible. Units have been discovered. And uh, he should be running out of ammunition relatively quickly for those uh, artillery pieces, so we're not gonna worry too much about what they can do at this point in time. Alright, well, looks like he's gone into hiding in there with his Blaric Slingers. So uh, we're just gonna actually let things happen as they are here. Um, us getting shot at these uh, African pikemen is just fine by me. Um, okay, one of his Blaric Slingers has come out of hiding. Let's see what's going on with the other ones. I just need these Balearic Slingers to start turning to fire at my uh, my Slingers and then I'll be able to retaliate um, with my cavalry. But if he doesn't move his Slingers to go and kill my guys then I can just get free shots all I want so this is just fine by me. Alright so he's moving those guys out. I can now sort of move these guys in to threaten. Let's see what happens here. Nope. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Doesn't look like I'll be able to get anything useful off of there. Our hidden units have been discovered. Okay. Ooh, that looked like a good shot there. Yeah, oh no, I only killed one though. Oh, he's using flaming shot though is the problem, I think. Uh, flaming shot, or no, he's using explosive shot? Explosive shot doesn't really do much damage. Uh, he needs to follow up if he's using that stuff. But uh, that works out for me. That's fine by me. You can see those hits like hitting, and it scatters and disorganizes the troops in their formation, but it doesn't actually cause kills is the problem with it, so... Okay, let's uh, run in and get these Blaric Slingers over here. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Um, we're going to keep firing at those pikemen with these guys here. Okay, we're going to run these ones away. Riders, advance! Who's archers? Quickly now! And uh, that looks like it got his attention, but is it going to get his attention enough for him to lose the cavalry? Probably not, is my suspicion. Okay, so we're losing some Thorax pikemen, but not many, which is fine. Let's turn on this. Let's see if we can charge these guys. Of course, these horse archers are also getting shots off. We may have those uh, cavalry pinched. Yep, those cavalry are gone. Alright, good. These guys have gotten into the fight, so we're going to shoot at them as well. And those first Balearic Slingers are pretty much out of here. And uh, we can now basically whittle away his army with impunity until we run out of ammunition, or he does something about it. And that's going to be absolutely devastating. Okay, so we've basically wiped out uh, a good chunk of his shooting here at this point in time. And, uh, you know, it's sort of what happens when you don't have quite enough shooting uh, or missile units when you're trying to sort of uh, do this turtle strategy, which, uh, you know, you can do a turtle strategy, there's nothing wrong with that sometimes is pretty much necessary against certain people. I think I actually have said before that there are certain times where you want to be boxing uh, and it's just a better idea to form up in a box as opposed to trying to do things uh, you know the hard way. Okay well we were now safe to bring in our general. Carthaginian cavalry coming in again but that's not going to help him at this point in time. Okay, so we're going to bring these uh, guys up here, and uh, we're going to bring our general over here.
late Libyan hoplites are going to start essentially taking a bit of a pounding. Okay. And all this Carthaginian cav is going to basically just be dead now. Yeah, Carthaginian cavalry still quite weak, it looks like. This gives me plenty of opportunity here to continue firing at these uh, Carthaginian... Oh, those are hoplites, shit. At these pikemen is what I want to be shooting at. Let's see here, late living hoplites. Not honestly all that concerned about those uh, hoplites right now, so let's turn off fire at will. And let's fire at these elephants a little bit. Okay, let's move forward. Let's move these elephants up. Let's move these thorax hoplites up. Our hidden units have been discovered. Let's just get our general to charge right into these guys that are trying to be clever around the back. Those are not hoplites, so we can charge through them. Use a charge through here. Follow up with those spears is going to cause those guys to get killed. Um, the battle is turning in our favor. Should be able to kill those elephants, no problem, really. Let's see, let's turn on fire wolf for these guys and just let them kite around there. Oh good, he's charging his elephants in. That's fine. Our elephants are about to die, but that's also fine. Now let's move these guys up. Should be able to win this one. Oh, no, those African pikemen are actually quite a bit better than mine, it seems. Or it could be that he's got a slightly thicker formation. I'm not really sure there. Regardless, though, he's going to be losing his elephants pretty soon. Flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Which is good for us. And it looks like we'll be able to roll through him anyway. Okay, we just have to move through those late Carthaginian hoplites. Let's fire at that guy's general's bodyguard. I might have given a bad order for my uh, pikemen, that might be what happened, but I don't think so. Alright, so let's just get our general to charge right in there. It doesn't really matter at this point. Yeah, just look at those shots coming in from behind, doing devastating damage. Alright. Alright, so that's that flank done. Alright, so let's get these guys back to the fight here. Used all its oh, they've used up all their ammunition anyway, so it's not like it really matters. Okay. And that's going to be game. Alright, that worked out well. Yeah, I definitely think that uh, this sort of composition worked out well in this particular circumstance. And uh, yeah, it works okay at sort of whittling down a sort of underwhelming amount of shooting in a box. If you look at his ballista, it only got 46 kills, so I think those are still pretty ineffective. Uh, especially the explosive ammunition, it looks like it's still not very uh, well well thought through. But got a good number of kills on all our shooting units, which is one of those things that we want to see. Uh, our elephants that suicided sort of into that uh, Carthaginian hoplite unit... 200 kills basically, which is less than it used to be, so they have definitely got been toned down a little bit. That's still really devastating, and it was an opponent using all spears and pikes essentially, plus uh, of course cavalry. So the fact that I did uh, only get 200 kills against those sorts of units, or that I got that many kills against those sorts of units, means that there's still quite a force to be reckoned with. Uh, looks like we only had 380 losses to about a thousand kills, so 400 to a thousand. Uh, so pretty good. 
yeah, I think that uh, we're still in this a little bit. Hopefully we'll be uh, playing some more of this later on, but anyway, for the meantime, I hope you found this enjoyable, and as always, I hope to see you all next time.